armor clad. Tired of that old garage floor? Motor oil, salts, antifreeze, and years of tire wear can take its toll on a floor. You can change all that with armor clad, an amazing epoxy coating system that gives you a showroom quality surface. Best of all, you can easily apply by yourself in hours. We'll show you how. Please take a minute to read the instructions for additional information, along with tips to make your new floor turn out perfect. The most critical step in the process is to have a clean, well-prepared surface free of debris, dirt, oil, curing compounds, sealers, and loose paint. Even new concrete must be clean to remove dirt, dust, and salts that form as concrete cures. After emptying the garage, scrape or sand off any surface debris, such as putty, paint, oil, or dirt, so that the surface is smooth and even. Use a hose with a nozzle or a pressure washer to flush the entire area. Make sure you remove all loose dirt and debris from the floor. Add the armor clad etch to five gallons of hot water in a pail and mix. Wash the floor with your hose, while wet, spread the mixed etching solution over the area to be coated. Use a broom and lightly scrub the surface. You may notice some slight foaming, which is normal. For extremely dirty floors, you may need to repeat this step and use a wire brush. Using standard masking tape, mask any areas you don't want coated, such as perimeter edges and the area extending beyond where the garage door comes down. While priming is optional and not required, priming is often done on previously coated floors floors that have been grinded instead of etched, and floors where light color epoxy is used. Priming also extends coverage of the epoxy. We suggest Armor Clad Primer, which is available in two versions, a standard VOC, which is a one-to-one -one mix, and a low VOC version, which is a four-to-one mix. See the installation instructions for additional information on these products. Armor Clad is a two-component, two-to-one mix ratio, 100% solids type epoxy coating, it requires the thorough mixing of Part A and Part B components for the material to properly harden. Mixing can be done by using the mixing stick provided in the kit or the low-speed electric drill mixer included. Begin by opening cans A and B and stirring each individually. Mix the contents of Part A thoroughly before pouring out. This helps to mix in any settled pigments. Pour two parts from Part A and one part of Part B into a larger container that can hold at least the total you are mixing. Any quantity can be mixed, as long as the 2 to 1 mix ratio is followed. We recommend mixing no more than half of the contents of each A and B in a bucket, and then applying to the floor. Repeat a second time to avoid pre-hardening and having to rush through the project. Note, the two containers we provide are pre-measured 2 to 1. Mix the two components together for 2 to 3 minutes, but not any longer. Move the mechanical mixer up and down and along the sides of the bucket and through the contents while spinning so that you get all of the material mixed, not just the material at the bottom of the pail. When mixing A and B together, you will notice that veins appear. These veins should be 100% gone, which is another indication of complete mixing. Be sure to scrape the sides and the bottom of the containers so that all the material is properly mixed. Improperly mixed resins may not fully harden or show color variations when applied. After the components are mixed together, you have approximately one half hour of working time to coat the floor at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not mix in direct sunlight and keep the coatings out of the sunlight to keep cooler. Pour the armor clad epoxy small amounts on the floor and spread with a nine inch roller. Pour in a bead and use a left to right pattern. Work diligently and quickly to avoid premature hardening and product failure. Use the small disposable paintbrush to cut in around the edges. The supplied squeegee can be used to help spread the epoxy out, but always roll it out to avoid marks or lines. Armor clad may be installed as a solid color or with decorative flakes to provide an attractive terrazzo-like finish. If you use decorative flake, coat a small area, then apply the flakes. Continue this until the floor is fully coated. After the armor clad is dry enough to walk on, normally overnight, you can clear coat the floor. Ultra Glaze is a clear coat that provides significant additional durability, UV protection and shine. Open the can, mix well, and apply. 
We recommend using the included anti-slip aggregate. Add this to the clear coat to reduce the risk of slipping on finished floors that may be exposed to wet or oily greasy conditions. We also offer a commercial military grade two-part top coat for more demanding applications and usage where fuels and solvents may be more prevalent. At 75 degrees Fahrenheit, armor clad should cure at least 24 hours before opening the area to foot traffic and four to six days before parking a car on it. Extreme temperatures and humidity levels can impact curing times. Armor clad surfaces are easy to maintain through periodic mopping with non-bleach household detergent solution and rinsing with clear water. For more information on armor clad and the full line of armor poxy floor products, visit our website or call us at 1-888-755-7361.